my God. We're learning more about the unusual police chase we brought to you as breaking news last night at 11. A man hijacking a Miami-Dade fire truck, yeah, a fire truck, leading police on a tri-county pursuit before being finally being pulled over and arrested in Palm Beach County. NBC6's Marissa Bad joins us from the station in North Miami Beach where that engine was stolen from. When the truck was stolen from Station 32 here in North Miami Beach, the lights were flashing and the lights remained flashing all the way up I-95. That made it pretty easy for police to keep up with up until the suspect decided to pull over and surrender two counties away. Some drivers had a front row seat to this surprising sight. Dash cam video shows a stolen Miami-Dade fire rescue truck traveling up I-95 Thursday night. Police say 31-year-old LaCambra Hanna was at the wheel. Oh my God. Hannah is accused of stealing the wide load while fire rescue crews did a training exercise in North Miami Beach. He took the big rig onto the interstate in Miami-Dade County with the lights and sirens flashing and allegedly drove it through Broward County as dozens of police cars followed right behind. He didn't stop for miles, eventually ending up on the turnpike in Palm Beach County. Finally, he pulled over and surrendered to police near Boynton Beach. The facts make this extremely egregious. And that we're driving on three counties with an extremely large vehicle. In the middle of his bond hearing today in West Palm Beach, Hannah raised his hand to ask the judge a question about his $25,000 bond. Uh, I have a question. Uh, before I leave, where do you expect me to get 2500 bucks from? I don't know. You don't care? Or you don't know? I said I don't know. A bailiff trying to move Hannah out of the courtroom after asking such a curt question. He's charged with grand theft of emergency medical equipment. Police say at some point during the steal, Hannah struck an Opalaka police cruiser with the fire truck. No one was in the car. Police say nobody was injured in this whole ordeal, and the fire truck has been returned here to Station 32. As for Hannah, he lives only about three miles away, grew up in Miami. He has two prior arrests, one for burglary, the other for battery. Reporting in North Miami Beach, Marissa Bag, NBC6 News.